All right, so today I'm gonna do something just a little bit different than I normally do on this channel. I am not trying to predict the winner or the loser of this 7-8 play-in game between the 76ers and the Miami Heat. I'm just giving my opinion on what I think will be the best outcome as far as matchups go with the one seed and the two seed who they would subsequently play in this situation. So the first piece of this, which is what I think most people are gonna be a little shocked at, I need the Miami Heat to win tonight so that they can end up playing the New York Knicks in a 2-7 matchup. I think it will be way more competitive. These are two super tough, hard-nosed, hard-playing teams. They're going to play their starters as many minutes as they possibly can. Two great coaches. You got Tom Thibodeau on one side. You got Eric Spolster on another side. They've had their battles in the past with different teams. And I just think it will be – just a great, tough series. They probably won't get over 80 points a few times in this series. It'll be really back and forth, a lot of great adjustments. And I think the teams are fairly even matched, especially with Julius Randle out. I think Jimmy Butler can elevate to a similar level of Jalen Brunson. I think Jalen Brunson can, like I said, match that. Um, I think it'll be a great kind of chess match between the bigs that New York has available. And that Bam matchup, Bam won't really have – anybody like a Joel Embiid that he needs to worry about or a Giannis where like this is his specific matchup he'll be able to kind of roam and we'll really get to see his defensive presence on the court um and why he should should have probably gotten more consideration for DPOY granted the votes haven't come out yet for that but I think that matchup would be way better than a Joel Embiid versus New York Knicks matchup which I don't think they have anybody that can contain him I like Isaiah Hartenstein do I think he's doing anything with Julius with uh, Joel Embiid? No. Mitchell Robinson coming off an injury, not doing anything with them healthy. He's absolutely not doing anything coming off of an injury. And I think they have Jericho Sims on the end of the bench who plays spot minutes here and there when they have injuries. It'll get ugly pretty fast. And I think the Philadelphia 76ers have more than enough capable defenders um, to throw at Julius, not Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson. Um, and kind of wear him down over a series because, truth be told, you take the head of the snake out, which is Jalen Brunson. I think this Knicks team falls flat on their face fairly quickly. Um, not to say they won't be competitive, but I just think it wouldn't be as entertaining of a matchup. So if Miami wins that seven, no. So if Miami ends up taking the seventh seed in this scenario that I'm playing out, that would mean that the Philadelphia 76ers would crush whoever wins between that trash 9-10 game. I don't care if it's my Chicago Bulls. I don't care if it's the Atlanta Hawks. They're they're both getting smacked, 20-point win, whatever, which sets up a 1-8 series, which a lot of people thought had a chance to be an Easter Conference Finals between the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. I think this would be an amazing first-round series. Obviously, it should have never gotten to this point. This should never be a first-round series, but due to Joel Embiid's injuries, here we are. Um, I think this would be a great test. Joel Embiid you know, routinely has issues getting past the second round. This is not an issue for him. He should be as healthy as he could possibly be in this scenario. He's been off for a couple of weeks. He's rested. Um, he even missed the last game of the season just out of precaution uh, is what they said. Who knows? Um, I guess we'll take their word on it. But, yeah, I think putting Kristaps Porzingis to the biggest test that he's probably going to deal with outside of a possible NBA Finals appearance against the Denver Nuggets, he's going to get – the best big man that he can possibly face, again, other than Nikola Jokic. So why not get it out the way in the beginning? And we'll see if he's actually able to deal with that. Or are they going to have to play big minutes with Luke Cornett? Or are they going to have to bench one of their guards down the stretch in order to put Al Horford in and try and guard Joel Embiid? And then it also begs the question, who do they bench? Are you benching Derek, uh, Derek White? Are you benching Drew Holiday? Who I think they probably go with. I think they favor Derek White just a little bit more. I don't think it's the right choice, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I want to see those type of, um, what do you call it, coaching changes, coaching, um, I don't even know what you call them, uh, coaching decisions that uh, Joe Mazzullo would have to make early, early, early in the playoffs. I'm genuinely curious to see them. Um, I'm curious to see how the wings on the 76ers are able to handle Jalen, uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Uh, I think it'd be a, a huge chess match, especially with Nick Nurse um, as a veteran coach who's won a championship going up against the second year guy and Joe Mazzulla, who seems like he's figured out kind of who he is as a coach. But I think this would be an amazing test to really figure that out. And I think the top guys between a Jason Tatum and a Joel Embiid matchup, these guys have gone against each other in different playoff series. Uh, Tatum typically gets the best of them. But 
again, fully healthy series right off the bat. Both teams are locked in, ready to try and get a championship. I think it'd be an amazing matchup, uh, amazing TV, and they get a lot of rest. I just saw this a couple of minutes ago. Um, they'd get two games off between each of the first three games. So that would be an amazing thing for Joel Embiid if he's able to get two ga- two days off in between games to start the first three games off of that series. I think it'd be amazing. Um, two of their first three games are on TNT. I just think it'd be great basketball. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you for watching. Till next time. Peace.